Hi, I'm the Bigger Chef Matthews from Blue Water Grill, and today we're going to make a, uh, something I make for the holiday season. It's a whole roasted red American red snapper. We have a new little unique technique that we're going to use to make this work. So first, we want to uh, slip the snapper prepare the fish. We're just going to put our knives down here. And your butcher can uh, scale and gut this for you. It makes it a lot easier. But you want to slice the sides of it through. So when we add the marinade, it'll allow time to penetrate. Then we cook it, it'll cook it nice and even. So you just want to make nice slits down here. Don't worry about going too deep. You want to take it all the way down to the bone. Okay. Now we're just going to set this aside and we're going to work on our marinade. It's using a bowl. We have our ingredients already uh, prepared. We have some uh, jalapenos, some cilantro, uh, a little bit of chili oil, garlic, and salt. So, first we're going to do is cut some limes, get some limes into our bowl, squeeze some lime juice. You want to marinate the fish maybe 10 15 minutes ahead of time, give it some time to uh, absorb some of the flavors. The interesting about this dish, the first time I, I made this, I was actually on a beach in Brazil and we bought a fish from a local fisherman. And we then made a fire that night on the beach. We had nowhere to, nowhere to really cook the fish. We didn't have a grill or a barbecue. We were just out there in the middle of, the middle of nowhere on the beach. So we made a fire. And I got this idea of taking two beer bottles, which they have large 500 milliliter beer bottles. We buried them in the sand and placed the fish on top of that, pushed the fire on the side, and then we had a nice, almost like a pit that we, uh, we roast this snapper. Can't do this here in, in the city, so we're going to do this in the oven with a little similar technique. So in the bowl, we have jalapenos, uh, garlic. The lime juice, what a fair amount of salt, because we marinated the whole fish. We're going to add some olive oil to this. Just stir this up real quick. This is great through in a uh, mortar and pestle if you have it, so you can make a nice paste out of the marinade and you apply it to the fish. And then we just bring our fish back over here. We're going to just rub it in there. Make sure we get it all over. Gonna get some inside, inside the cavity of the fish. We're gonna flip it over. The platter remains. Like I said, you want to let this sit and marinate for a good 20 minutes. Some flavor. We're just gonna. Let this sit for a while. And we'll prepare uh, a little salad to go with the, uh, the fish at the end. We're going to start with some uh, freshly chopped tomatoes. Some, some red onions. With the red onions, you want to soak them in uh, ice water first. Uh, it's coming the sulfur out of the, out of the product. So it's not as like, get the sharp onion flavor with a little bit of salt. Again, we're going to add some uh, lime juice to this. squeeze. This is a nice accompaniment to the, uh, the roasted fish. We're also, depending on your, uh, your level of uh, tolerance for heat, we have a nice little chili oil here that we're going to add to this. We're just going to drizzle this into the salad. Get a nice spice. Finish it with the cilantro. And then our olive oil again. So after the fish is roasted, we're going to put this on top. Okay, excellent. So now, back to our uh, our beer bottles. We're gonna cook this fish. We don't want to lay it on the side because one side will cook unevenly. So we want to get it up nice and nice and uh, elevated like this, so the whole fish cooks evenly. They don't want it to stick to the pan either. So similar to what we did on the beach, we're gonna set up a little tray here. You can tell the inside of the fish is sliced. So we cut it from all the way down. Okay, and you're gonna use this part here. And it's kind of like, very similar to doing like a, a beer can chicken, we're going to be a beer can fish. So we're just going to lay this on top, right like this. And this will keep the fish elevated and it'll, it'll roast perfectly evenly. Alright. Keep that nice and straight. And you're going to put this in the oven. And if you uh, set your oven about 375 degrees, cook that for about 20 minutes, you'll have a lovely roasted fish. So, we're going to stick this in the oven. I took the liberty of making one ahead of time since we don't have 20 minutes to cook this. So, we're going to take this out of the oven. 
and this is your final product. You can tell the fish is nicely, perfectly roasted off. I'm going to take this, I'm going to lay this right onto the plate. Okay, like so. Then we have a little extra marinade, warm this up nice and hot. Place this marinade right over the top. And there you go. You get a nice, delicious fish. You serve your tomato salad on the side, and you have an instant meal that you can probably take out in 20 minutes. Done. Right on the table.